Are your eyes closed or? Are your eyes closed? I can't, I can't tell. Hey everyone, Axel Ronder here. Welcome back to another episode of Fantasy Life, where we last left off. We finished the carpentry. I'm sorry, I was, I was, uh, <clears throat> had something in my throat. We just finished a carpentry level. We are now ex, oh, not expert carpenters. We're, uh, carpenters. We're beginning carpenters. We're fledglings, you know, barely starting things out. This time, we are going to a brand new life. And that life, like I mentioned before, is the tailor. Look how snazzy we look. No, yes, press it. There we go. Yay! <laughs> nice. I'm sure. Oh, I, I'm not even ready at this. You're I'm sure. Um, you, you know, we're gonna. We've done this like hundreds of times already. I'm not gonna be there like reading all that over and over again. Anyway, that's how all these episodes start recently is like, oh, start a new life. But it, it's that because we're trying to get them all started so we can continue with the main story. We aren't even done. We haven't even done Butterfly's requests. I just realized that, so I don't know what <laughs> she's gonna be wanting us to do. It's like, I want you to go see all the all the different lives. It's like, really? We already did that. It's like two people need to talk to us. Oh, well. Get that later. Huh. Oh, I like how this looks. Look at all these nice clothing we got here. Cool. I'm gonna learn how to make this. Oh, hello there. You must be my new pupil. Welcome. Welcome. The guild said you'd be coming. Of course, I'm delighted to welcome a new student to the fold. Now, that's a clever pun. My name is Pearl. Yeah, it's so nice to meet you. And that furry little thing over there is Spooly. Spooly? Spooly, this is Axton. Come say hello to him. Spooly, are you listening to me? Oh, a stitch in time saves nine, so Spooly sues with cotton twine. Ooh. To make lovely things for Madame Pearl, and she'll say thank you, dear, that's fine. Hey, that one didn't rhyme. Isn't that sweet? He's all wrapped up in his work and is singing. I don't even think he heard me. Spooly and I will teach you everything a proper tailor ought to know. You can skip the introduction request and just update your license if just you want. Continue with the quest. Hmm. 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 Nah, just joking. <laughs> well, to learn to sew, one must sew. So let's get let's get straight. This is what happens when I decide I was thinking about skipping it. So let's get you straight to work. Here, take this. Ooh, a train needle. Wait. Take a good take good care of your needle, young lad. It may be a tiny tool, but it's a powerful one. You'll be amazed by what you can create using this little silver sliver of metal and some thread. Well, I think you just might be ready to tackle an assignment, Axon. Let's start with something nice and easy. How about making some dandelion cotton for me? Oh dear, I almost forgot to give you the pattern. It's the most important part. You learn how to make dandelion cotton. You need the dandelion puffs from the cotton. You can either buy them or forge them for yourself. <laughs> if you want to know the best place to find materials, just ask Lee. But you have to wait to him for him to finish singing. There's no stopping him when he gets like this. Oh, okay. We should have plenty of cotton on us. We all, we, I, don't know, I'm, I like to pick every little thing I see. Mr. Spooly? Spooly? Patterns, pockets, pipings, and pleats folded down here and iron the crease. Taylor's a tailor, surely not a sailor. She taught Spooly how to sew. And so I sew and sew my pearls a whirl to finish up this project for Madam Pearl. Beep! Oh, hello there. Spooly didn't see you there. Who are you? Are, are there dandelion puffs in here, Spooly? We've been talking to you. This is Axton. I told you he was coming, remember? Oh boy, this is a new pupil. Spooly is so happy to meet you. Did Madame Pearl give you a needle? That's all you need to get started sewing. Spooly bets the Spooly knows what she asked you to make first. The dandelion cotton. Spooly knows all. And that means you're going to need some nice plushy dandelion puffs. Spooly knows just where you can find some. Ask Spooly's friend Taylor outside the chapel. Taylor is a nice easy name to remember. She's a tailor who's named Taylor. But in case you can't remember, Spooly will go with you. That will be fun. Spooly, I hate to rain on your parade, but it looks like you still have a lot of work to do. Oh no, Madame Pearl is right. Spooly will stay right here until Spooly finishes his work. Good luck. Be careful. 
I have no idea I gave him that voice. The first thing I thought when I saw him was Igor <laughs> from like the old Frankenstein movies. I was like, as soon as I saw that, I thought like Igor. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hey look, there's another right there. He waved at us. All right, let's head off to Taylor. If I remember correctly, we saw her when we did the whole ghost story adventure. So she probably won't remember us, but uh, it's uh, we, uh, we know where the location is. Ah, my goodness. It's been a while since we since I at least recorded. I've been dealing with a lot of other stuff regarding like the whole recording things. I had some issues that I was very, very not worried about, but it was just like no, no, it was a little bit concerning because I was having some issues with like the whole uh like my bitrate issue. I, I know it's a lot of tech a lot of uh what's the word? Uh, a lot of uh information to go on. But uh I, I think I fixed it. So Hopefully, the videos will look nice. Otherwise, we're gonna get that pixelated mess that I got the last time. Ugh. Hated seeing that. Patterns, pockets, pipings, and pleats. Fold it down and iron the crease. She's singing the same song? Uh, I thought singing would help me cheer... I thought singing would cheer me up, but it's not working. Why, oh, why did I take that stupid assignment? I'll get in big trouble if I can't finish it in time. Plus, everyone will be mad at me. Whoa! You're just about to give me a heart attack. I didn't think anyone was standing there. Yeah, that, I, I do that a lot. My name's Taylor. Sorry if you're screaming like that. I'm a little jumpy right now. Oh, I get it. You're the new Taylor B. Madam Pearl's been talking about you nonstop. She's so excited to have another pupil. Hmm? Another pupil? Maybe you could help me with... Oh, never mind. I was, what was I thinking? You still have so much to learn. You know what? Ignore what I just said. Hey, I think I just saw a... Hey, you in the bushes. Come out now. Nobody's here. You have especially Spoolie. Spoolie's definitely not here. I didn't know that was him, and I just instantly jumped to the voice. Spoolie, I know it's you. Nope, no Spoolie here. There's no point in hiding. I know your squeaky voice anywhere. Oh, squeaky. <laughs> Squeak. You caught Spoolie. <laughs> Spoolie, what are you doing sneaking around like that? You're supposed to be working. But Taylor's been so sad, Spoolie wanted to turn Taylor's frown upside down. Spoolie wanted to turn Taylor's frown upside down. Oh, I'm not sad, not at all. You're just imagining things, Spoolie. Taylor's running, always running around with a mopey face. Busy, busy Taylor. I said I'm fine. I'll get yourself back to the workshop before Madame Pearl notices you're gone. Taylor's okay. Okay. Spoolie will run along now. Run along, Spoolie. Oh, and please don't tell anyone Spoolie was here, Axton. Don't worry, Spoolie. He doesn't really strike me as a gossipy type. And Spoolie, thanks for your concern. It's nice to know that someone's worried about me. Taylor is very woken. Spoolie's... Spoolie's just has one more thing to say to you. Taylor the Taylor, if you need help, you should talk to Madame Pearl. She's the wisest human Spoolie knows. Madame Pearl's a wisdom. <laughs> oh, Spoolie. Thanks for keeping your lips sipped about what I was talking about earlier. Now, what can I do for you? All right, you probably need some dandelion puffs. Madame Pearl always starts out her new, pu her pu new pupils on dandelion cotton. It's a good basic pattern. You can find dandelion puffs growing all over the scrub suburbs. They're everywhere. But there's no need for you to go foraging for materials. I can just give you these. Thank you. I appreciate that. Good luck learning how to sew. And please, don't tell Madame Pearl I was wearing, okay? Wow. I wonder if we're going to be handling the little project that she wants us to do. It's probably like making a linen something. I don't know. Sewing. <laughs> I'll just pretend like I know what I'm talking about by saying smart words, thus making the illusion that I know what I'm talking about. I think I just confused myself there. Okay, ignore all that. Let's, uh, let's head right back on to Madame Pearl. Let her know we got the can the candelion. What the heck is a candelion? It's a dandelion puff. Oof. Royal Castle Workshop. Madam Pearl, Madam Pearl, we got the thingy. The candle, the, the what, why do I keep saying candeline? You should be able to find Taylor. No, I already found Taylor. Spoolie. Welcome back. Oh, you have the materials you need. Very nice, very nice. Spoolie was right here the whole time you were gone. Yes, they were. Okie dokie, now it's time to start the challenge. Go stand in front of the workbench and let's make some dandelion cotton. Is your needle equipped? Better equip it. I learned sewing, nice. That's the first thing I forgot to do. Same concept. If you, if you've been around with me through these episodes and you've seen how crafting kind of works, we got three stations. You know what to do. So first things first, make sure you equip your sewing needle. 
you can find that right here. Our sewing went up to 16. We're good to go. Here we go. This is the tailor's workshop. Workbench. Choose a pattern. Let's see what we got. Second an item crap. We got ourselves the dandelion cottons. We had 46 in our inventory. Ugh. All right, let's begin how this works. What are we starting first? Spamming the A button like crazy. No. By any chance, can I can. Good. No. Nope. No. Nope. There we are. I always get quiet on those parts. I apologize. It's kind of hard to concentrate. Dandelion cotton complete. Give yourselves a pat on the back of your phone. Along. 5 XP. Oh, Madam Pearl. Is that it? We're done with the story already? Finished already? Let me take a look. Oh, have you done a fine job. Straight stitches, nice lines, no puckering. Well done. You seem to be tailor-made for this life. Oh, and it's not an easy life. Let me tell you. A good tailor is diligent and precise. Sewing sounds simple, but a lot goes into it. From gathering materials to the final stitch. Haven't I heard that one before already? Well, I think you're finally ready for a real assignment. Exciting, huh? Now, there's another student of mine here in the castell. Excellent made tailor in front of the chapel. How do you know about that, Spoolie? Were you there at the chapel as well? Oh, oh no, Spoolie was right here the whole time, but Taylor loves to sew in front of the chapel. Yes, I suppose that's true. It's true, Spoolie. Well, no matter. Uh, what I meant to say is that Taylor just stopped with a friend of hers. Spoolie, Miss Taylor? No fair, Spoolie was too busy watching next to work. She needs some help making a certain item. Here, let me show you. The fluffy ribbon top. Ooh. Such a lovely garment. I've got Spoolie working on the task right now, so I'd like you take this on. I'd like you take on this assignment, Axon. I'm sure you'll do a bang up job. Spoolie's got faith in you, Axon. Do it for Spoolie. <laughs> Why don't you go speak with Taylor and find out more about this assignment? Now, if I recall, Taylor and her friend Zippy were heading over to Zippy's shop. That's over in Castell Ca Square. I'm sure you can find them there. <laughs> Zippy's shop have a clothing. Sign in front of. Oh, I can't speak right now. Has a clothing sign out front. You can't miss it. Squeak. Oh, I was reading Spoolie. Off he goes. <laughs> I I lost my composure there when he was like Spoolie. <laughs> oh, I love characters like that. They're so much fun. All right, let's head off to Zippy's house fun. I think you've seen it. Is that the guy with the glasses? Or am I thinking of some? No, no, no. I'm thinking of this guy, Rupert. Zippy, zippy. Oh no, I missed it. That can't be right. Oh no, it's over here. I was like, <laughs> I'm in the wrong store. Zippy, here, Zippy. Hey, it's you again. New kid on the block, right? Oh, hmm. I'm glad Mara Pearl sent you to help us. That's a real testament of your tailor skills. So thanks for coming. With any luck, we'll get a. You'll get us out. Real jam. You see, Zippy and I were hired to make a new curtains for the castle. Oh, you haven't met Zippy. Here she is. She runs the shop. Hi, nice to meet you, Axon. We were so stoked to get this curtain job from the castle. I mean, it's every tailor's dream. But that's a big castle. And a big castle needs a lot of curtains, and, and it's all we do, night and day. If things keep going like this, we'll have to start turning down orders from our regular customers. But Madam Pearl's a clever one. She figured out how we can do all the jobs. She told us to call on our new students for help. So I guess that means you, Axon. You're a real sport for helping us out, Axon. We need you to find a fluffy ribbon top. We'll need you to make a fluffy ribbon top. I'm sure you can do it, Axon. The pattern may look a little complicated, but it's a real breeze with me helping you. For this pattern, you'll need a dandelion cotton and fluffy ribbon. It looks like you already have made some dandelion cotton, Axon. But if it's not enough, I got a fresh a friend down at the market who can hook you up. It's the fluffy ribbon that's troubling me. Yeah, stuff's not easy to find. Maybe you can ask one of the shopkeepers for help. Good plan, let's hit the market. Come on, Axon, I'll teach you some tricks of the trade. Taylor joined your party. Now, it's just a question that just pops into my head every now and then. I understand you get, like, companions to help you out with, um, like, adventuring and stuff like that. But I know you could take, like, these companions out on adventurings, too. It's like... Makes me it makes me think like how do they handle in a fight? That's not you know because these are non-combatant companions. At least that's how I see it. I haven't seen your face around here. You must be a new tailor. 
Huh, that's kind of funny. You're the second new tailor I've met today. Well, new to Castell, at least. And who's that behind you? Well, if it isn't Taylor. Hi there. Yep, it's our new tailor in training. That's what I like to hear. So what's your, sh so what's on your shopping list today? We got an urgent assignment, but I'm worried we're running, we're going to run out of dandelion cotton. Can't let that happen, can we? Here you go. Oh, what a nice gentleman. We got two count dandelion cottons. I don't know why I keep adding it with a K. Thanks a bunch. You always got us. You always got just what, what I'm looking for. This one's on the house today, Taylor. Well, I can't let you do that. Sure you can. You know the best way to win over a new customer is to give them free stuff. That's that's true. Maybe when you're done with your big assignment, this guy will come back for more supplies. No, nope, sorry. Gotcha, thanks again. Oh, and there's one more thing. Do you have any fluffy ribbon in stock? Fluffy ribbon, huh? That's not an item we see around here very often. Seriously? Seriously. Not many people know the pattern of fluffy ribbon, so we rarely have it in stock. I always thought you, you had it... I always thought you had to buy it ready-made. But if there's a pattern we could follow... Well, there's a pattern, all right, but it's pretty tricky. Working with ribbons is a real challenge. It's not a pattern for the faint of heart, is what I'm saying. You need a highly skilled tailor. The only highly skilled tailor I know is Madame Pearl, but I can't ask her. I mean, I already borrowed her pupil. I can't even ask her to do my assignment for me. Wait a second, I know someone who can, you can ask. Really who? This fancy pants tailor from Port Puerto. He was here just a few seconds, a few minutes ago. But no matter where he came from, he sure... No matter where he came from, he sure dropped some serious dosh here. He bought only high quality stuff too, no flimsy fabrics or anything. Yes, definitely a top tailor. I think he said he was heading off to the forge, off to forge for woolly materials. You know where wool comes from, don't you? Kind of fluffy. Says bah. Why not ask the mystery tailor to help you? He's he only just left. I'm sure you can catch up to him. We'll do that. Thank you so much. Let's go, Axon. Um, do you know where the sheep hang out? Yes, I do. I do. Because I've done almost all the lives. And the intros are still very fresh in my head. I hope I'm thinking where I'm... I hope I'm thinking in the right spot. Otherwise, I'll look like a fool. Yeah, okay. It's gonna be the spot. Where the... Hunters? Hunter places? Oh, hey, look. Chick. Salutations. You wouldn't happen to be tailors now, would you? You can always sense one of our own. And local tailors, by the look of it, Castell is certainly a charming place to visit. Such a lovely mid-climate, perfect for raising sheep. And that means fine, fluffy sheep fleece. You see, in my native land we grow cotton. Sheep fleece is decide, uh, decidedly hard to come by. Look, I hate to interrupt. Oh, how rude of me. I haven't even introduced myself. Yet, where are my manners? Cheek is- I gotta say it's Cheek. Cheek is it? I'm Taylor, and this is Axon. Might I have asked you a question? Are you the Taylor who was at the market just a few minutes ago? Quite the detective, aren't you? My friend at the market said the ta top Taylor was in town, and I could tell right away it had to be you. You are the famous Taylor, aren't you? Would you please, please, please help us? Flattery like that goes a long way. Of course I hope you- Anyway, I can. We're in desperate need of fluffy ribbon for an urgent assignment. Well, we heard the pattern can be a little bit complicated. Since you're obviously such an accomplished tailor, we thought maybe you could, um... Wait a tick, could you happen to be students of Madame Pearl? You don't know Ma you know Madame Pearl? As a matter of fact, I do. And I also know what she's... A and I also know that she's a fantastic tailor. Why don't you ask her to make the fluffy ribbon? Oh, I don't want to bother Madame Pearl with this. I can't be running to her with every little problem. She worries about me enough as it is. Sounds like you're quite in jam. How about this? If you're able to rustle up some sheep fleece, I'll make it for you. You'll do that for us? A friend of Pearl is a friend of mine. Plus, there's no failure in Taylor. Heh, <laughs> eh, that's a good one. Now give me some sheep fleece. Could have sworn I had. Oh, you need that special sheep fleece. I couldn't help but overhear your conversation. Forgive me for eavesdropping, but it sounds like you could use some of this. Thank you. I was due for good shearing anyway. I'll just love Could you imagine if animals talked to you and it was like, here, I heard you needed this. Let me give it to you. <laughs> Hand it over to sheep fleece. Oh goody, you found some sheep fleece. Yes, this should do nicely. It won't take me long to at all for a whip up some fluffy ribbon for you. But I work even faster if there's music. Why don't you sing the song Madame Pearl loves so much? You know that song too? It's got the perfect beat to sew to. 
When you finish singing, your fluffy ribbon will be ready. You're the boss. <clears throat> Patterns, pockets, pipings, and pleats. Folded down here and iron the crease. Surging, sewing, stitching, seams. I was a tailor in my dreams. I sewed through the night and into the morn. With each little stitch, the tailor was born. My fingers are sore, my thread is gone, but tailoring is true as we near the dawn. And I'm finished. Ta-da! Oh, wow. Lucky ribbon. Bag is full. Can I... What? Oh, no. My bag is full? Oh, no. I haven't... Oh, no, 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 no. This is actually really, really bad. I haven't even put away any of my stuff that I picked up over the last... Oh, this is actually really... Oh, no. What do I have that I could just get rid of everything here is so precious to me maybe we can get rid of this yes perfect timing oh my goodness that is oh okay so I'm on my way to go put away some storage I completely I didn't I forgot I had a storage or like I had a limited inventory on my character I just been carrying all this stuff just goes to show you what happens. I haven't been around my house for so long either. Just butterfly. <laughs> All right, yes. No, 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 no. Oh, goodness gracious, we don't even have anything. Okay. Um. All right, we're gonna have to put away all of these items that we don't need. Um. Okay, I gotta be careful. I can't put away stuff that... Carpenters, paladins, hunter's shoes. Where am I just regular shoes? The shirt I want. Um, I don't have a... Cutter's hat. Keep the green little shorts. Um, yeah, it's fine. Then keep the paladin's gauntlets. And keep the minor shoes. Yeah, f funky dreads. <laughs> uh, do I need any of these charms? This is considered clothing. Huh, okay. Anything else I could put away? Smelly flower, I'll put that away for now. Need that. I, sh I don't know if I can put all these away. I'll just keep that for now. There we go. So, how much... Okay, 63. That's that's fine. My goodness, I can't believe we ran out of storage so much. It must be from all the clothing that we got, that we picked up over time. I gotta find time to make uh, a specific armor piece like that. I have a leather chest. I need to learn how to make the rest of the armor stuff, or I need to get the materials for the rest of the armor stuff so I can make myself some, like, uh, leather armor just in case if I'm gonna go out and do something. Hey, I have some gear already set up. You know, short, straight to the point. Okay, Spoolie. Look what the plushing dragged in. Spoolie hopes you got all the materials you need. Okie dokie, time for Spoolie to train you in the fine art of making pretty clothes, weak. Garment tailoring learned. All right, it looks like it's time for us to make the flippy top. Choose a pattern. Select an item to craft. And that would be the fluffy ribbon top. Here we go. Dun, 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 The fluffy ribbon top. This will be my greatest creation since I, I I don't know <laughs> I haven't really made a lot of stuff in this game yet ah damn it there we go nice <laughs> fluffy ribbon top complete give yourselves a pat on the back everyone well done Axton looks let's get this over to Zippy ASAP oh now we got oh, okay I thought we were gonna take it to madam I guess not. Oh, Zippy. <laughs> How did you know I was finished? <laughs> How does everybody know I'm finished with some of the stuff here? Sorry we took so long. Did you come here looking for us? 
Nope, I was already in the neck of the woods, so I thought I'd swing by, by here and wait. Hey, you got something fluffy under your arm. Is that what I think it is? Feast your... Excuse me. Feast your eyes on this. Not too shabby, huh? Axe made it. Hand it over. Our business is saved. Thanks, you Axon. Thank you, Axon. I was totally freaking out about whether we got this order in time. And here come the two of you saving my hide. How can I ever thank you? No need to thank us. It's our duty as tailor duty as tailors to get this fluffy ribbon top to our customers. I'll zip over right now. But before I go, I gotta You've gotta take this. Another five hundred dosh. Everybody pays really good in these little missions. I owe you both big time. Nice. I guess we talked to Madame Pearl and we've finished the quest already. Huh. Well done, you two. I'm just bursting with pride. All wells that ends well, I say. I always say. And this adventure ended very well, don't you think? It sure did, but I can't take all the credit. Exit here was absolutely amazing. That fashy tailor from Port Puerto really stopped, stepped, uh, stepped up to help us too. He had such a sassy name. Sassy name. What was it again? Chico, Chuck, Cheeky, Charles. You're not talking about Cheek, are you? Cheek. Yeah, that was it. He seemed to know you pretty well, Madam Pearl. He does indeed. Cheek was one of my finest students back in the day. No kidding, how come you never mention him? I suppose it's just slipping it just slipped my mind. Anyway, that was years ago. But he was in Castell earlier, you say. I wish he would have dropped by to say hello. He certainly was turned out to be a fine tailor. Excellent sewing skills and a heart of gold. I can see you're heading down the same path, Axon. You have talent and compassion. Don't forget to give yourself a pat on the back, Taylor. It was kind of you to help a friend in need. Aw, oh, don't make blush. I mean it, you two seem to have the most important qualities a tailor needs. Skill and heart. You've got to take those two things and weave them together. Create... Spooly, are you listening to this? I'm dueling out some very heartfelt advice right now. Patterns, pockets, pipings, and pleats. Fold them down here and iron the crease. Each stitch has... Stuff comes with Spooly's love. That's what makes the garment fit like a glove. I think Spooly has already taken my advice to heart. Look at him go. Such a sweetie, that one. He went all the way to the chapel because he was worried. Uh, never mind. Uh, what I just said. Spooly didn't go anywhere. What's that? That must have been caught in my ears. I didn't hear a thing. Giggle. Giggle. Uh, but sir, customers can always, but customers can always sense if you have a good heart. So maybe heart is the most. Well, never mind all, all that. What do you need to know? What you do need to know is that tailors don't just make clothes. We can make so much, so much more. Let me show you. Fabric tailoring learn. Nice. And here's one of my favorite skills. Misc tailoring learn. Ooh, we can make shoes and a hat. Now then, I mustn't forget to tally up your results. Let's see how much you performed. Fledgling Taylor. Nice! Fledgling. Intelligence and Dexterity. Oh, that's interesting. How to make fledgling level crafts. I wonder if I can make a hat! I say you're well on your way to becoming a successful tailor, Axton. But no slacking off, you need to master different types of tailoring and earn lots of stars. Pretty soon your thumb will have such tough skin that you won't even need a thimble. That's the true mark of a first class tailor. Oh geez, now I'm going to have to work my fingers to the bone. No one shows me up. I love hearing you say when you want to improve, tailor. That's the spirit. Da 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 da! We are done with the tailor life! Oh, well, the beginning portion that is. Save, yes, I would love to save. 9300 Dosh, wow. We are really packing up the numbers. Yes, I want to see if we can make a hat. I would love to wear a little hat. Let's see. <gasps> a simple beret with tattered patterns. Is that it? Yeah, sure, why not? We haven't really done any crafting yet. So let's do this. Oh yes, I can already see it. This is gonna be the best hat ever. Never get that darn pattern right. Perfect. Nice. Freaky deaky great. Yeah, Highland Berate. Continue? No, we are done. Alright, let's check the check out this nice little hat we're wearing. Does it offer any form of protection? 
It does! Oh my goodness, I didn't know it offered me protection. Nice, a little bit of a prote Actually, let me switch out too. Well, actually, it doesn't really matter. We're gonna do another life right now. <sighs> but at least we have a good little hat for us to wear with along with uh, some other gear. I gotta see what we need to make the um, the other armor pieces because I would like to get really decked up when we have to go do some other exploring. Or it's like more exploring. But I think we'll save that for next time. So thank you all for watching. I hope you had a wonderful time exploring the life of fantasy life with me. In the next episode, we will continue on. And I think we will tackle... Why don't we do fishing? Yeah, we'll start with fishing in the next life. So catch y'all later. Have a good one. Bye-bye. I said bye-bye. Hey. Hey, where's my thing? Where's that big swooshy thing that comes and ends the episode? Uh. Uh. I said bye, right? Yeah, I did all the everything, everything right. I always do this. This is how I end the episode. Oh. I don't think we're going to be ending the episode right now. I think the swooshy thing's broken. Oh. Um. Well, if that's the case... We'll make it an hour-long episode. Woohoo! <laughs> Let's go continue the anger life. Yes, I planned this one to be an hour-long episode because I think as of now, this is gonna be this is the longest series in my in my current playthroughs. So I think we already passed I think episode 19. So this is I think this is episode 19 or 17, 18, I'm not too sure. But we we're close enough to where we can say that, hey, this is now Considered, I think the longer one of the longest series on my channel, so I was expecting that, and to uh, commemorate that beautiful occasion, we decided to make. I decided to make this video an hour long. So, if you're looking forward for more of fantasy life, you got it. I wasted three minutes talking about that. <laughs> Let's do. Oh, that's right. I can sweep out, whenever, switch out whenever I want. Let's do angler life. You changed your life to an angler. Congratulations. Congratulations, Axton. Welcome to the angler life. I'm sure you already know this, but just skip all this dialogue and then we're going to go on our way to meet the master. <laughs> it's the same dialogue over and over again. I apologize if I skip it, but it's just that I want to get through. Uh, I, I want to start. I, I want to play. So. Where is the angler? I just noticed I'm wearing a fish head. Look at me, I'm a fish. <laughs> so, where do we start the angler life? Quite simple. Where do you start fishing? Sometimes you go to the beach to start fishing. Or, or you go to your nearest lake. And just as we've seen hundreds and hundreds of times, and thanks to this little fishy sign, we're able to come across the fish spot. Look at all those fishes. And look at the mystery. Master Roshi himself. He's here to teach me how to fish. I do sense a student approaching. One who wishes to learn the ancient art of Kung Fu. Then you must be prepared, my gubby, to delve in the deep mysteries of the sea. One must focus one's will upon the water. One must have the patience no matter what the weather. Even a harsh wind, baking sun, fiercest sleet. One must wait and wait and Ugh, lost another one? Just goes to show. Even the wisest of anglers can be made a foolish fool. Though I sense you're having doubts, my guppy. Then turn your back on the angler's life. No, wait! Oh, it's just being... Oh, all right, I'll admit it. That was just a whole lot of big talk. Wait, were you calling my bluff? Well, I guess I was laid on later on pretty thick with the weather's talk. Please don't go. I'll, I'll give you a fishing rod on your, of your own. You'll be a pro in no time. I swear if you stay, I'll teach you everything I know about his life as an angler. Well, if you say so. Oof, almost slipped the line. I hate to st uh, stifle your interest. Now, where to begin? Uh, yeah, we're gonna continue the quest. And haven't skipped one. Well, shouldn't say that one. Let's jump right in. Then, <laughs> can't wait to see if you take uh, to this well, like fish to water. And of course, the best way to learn how to fish is to grab a rod and drop a line in. Here you go, the rod. Just as I promised. Obtain the guppy rod! What to fish for first? I'll make a common one. At least common around here. A Castel Crucian. Uh, Crucian. 
I like you. I like you to work with Isaac to learn the basics. Sorry, I can't leave the dog now, but Isaac will do a good job. I just showed him the ropes. I will tell you this though. It's a B. You can sell your catches to the west part of town. I'll send word of the fish to the fishmonger. She likes to know who our fish where. Uh, she likes to know who our fish are coming from. What? She likes to know who her fish are coming from. She likes to know where her fish are coming from. I think that's a typo there. Oh, and I forgot to introduce myself. I am known. Th uh, hair, I'm known hereabouts as the Fisherman Sage. And that is Isaac. Now I look forward to seeing how you tackle your first task. Ah, okay, that was a typo there. The Fledgling Angler. Oh, man, Angler. Nice. Here's a little, uh, little fact about Ol' Axton. I love fishing. It's actually a very common sport. Something that I really love to enjoy with my family. If you ever have to, if you happen to fish, that's great. <laughs> I like fishing. It's it's fun. It's just sitting there talking, and then catching yourself a great big fish. Although I usually throw mine back into the water, but it's it's the thrill of it. You know what I mean? Hello, Isaac. Oh my gosh! Look at that. A guppy rod. Where'd you get it from, Grandpa? Oh my gosh! A basic rod, sure, but it's effective. Good handling, strong line, efficient railing. Best of all, the guppy rod looks good too. Nice color, sleek engineering, stylish. There's no way I agree with anglers who say that fishing should uh, fuse with stylish touches. Sorry, I'm going on. Sorry for going on about that. I get a little nuts about fishing. So you're new to all this, right? I'm Isaac, assistant to my grandpa. I mean to the fisherman's age. What's your name? Nice to meet you, Axon. Did you know how Grandpa comes to call to be called the Fisherman's Age? Because he's been around forever. He found it monthly. He found it monthly catch, the magazine for anglers in Riveria. He seriously knows the stuff. Anyway, what did he tell you to catch? Probably a carp, right? A castle Christian? Ah, classic Grandpa. That fish is great for a le for first lesson. I know the perfect spot for castle Castel uh, Christian. Christians. Not too far. W worth the walk. I'll run ahead to get things set. When you're ready, you can find me by using your map. Let's go catch the car, Baxon. And I can't read tonight. I feel like I'm, like, tongue's getting tied. Happens a lot with, um, fantasy life when you start reading a lot. At least for me, like, my tongue starts getting tied. You think I get used to it now after, what, playing this game for a good while as it is? <laughs> oh, wow, he's all the way over there. Okay, so... Oh, he's in near. I think he's near that little lake, is he? Yes, he is. Cool. Oh, cool. Need you here just in time too. There's a fishing circle. There's a fish circling. A lot of anglers know this spot. It's really a good catch for. It's really good for catching Castel Cursians. I should not have eaten before I started recording. Oof. Now some anglers like to teach fishing by putting a rod in your hand and pointing to the water. Not me. Not me though. I'll teach you technique first. Yes, that's the best way to start. A bit of how, and then a lot of to do. Now let's get started. Look below the bridge. That's a fish. See the fish? That's a carp. It's also where you cast your line. Got it? Sure you do. Easy peasy. But hooking a fish and then pulling it out of the water is trickier. Here's how it's done. I learned how to fish. Thank you. Okay, so this little mini game is kind of interesting. So, to fish, ready your fishing rod, then examine the silhouettes of the fish you spot. Fish can be found in rivers or ponds. Fishing is warning, but it can take concentration. Cast your line and wait for the fish to bite. When the float starts to drip, quickly press A. If your timing is right and the fish is on line at the time, you'll cause damage. Yes, the fish has a life bar. When, you, when a fish is caught on the line, hold down A to inflict damage. When the fish reaches a, a zero, you have successfully caught it. If the fish gets away, speak to that cat over there. You'll know how to make it reappear. Also, you'll expand SP if you fight a fish. When I when I run out of SP here, I refresh my SP by drinking some spring water from over there. And sometimes I shake that tree to get some tasty grassland honey. That's how. That's the how. Now it's time for you to do. Drop the line here and catch the Castel Crucian. Then bring it back to me once you reel it in. Oh, almost forgot. Don't forget to equip your fishing rod at first. All right, good luck. Oh, okay. Oh, at least he was very honest with how to get all this stuff done. Let's see. Fishing rod. What is that under? 
Oh, there it is. I was like, where is it? <laughs> it's under my axe. Okay. Let's start. Come on. Come on. Yes. Got it. Uh, I got a fish. <laughs> nice shit, my pants. <laughs> Reeled in the fish. Nice. Uh, you caught the cast of Christian. You must be so proud. I know you do a good job at this. Nice size for your first catch, too. Now we need to ca take it to the fish merchant in town. Yes, you're catching the catch, big fish. Testo was all got all of its fish from us anglers, you know. Next to you next you'll want to take your fish to the shopping district. Come on, let's run it right here. The fishmonger likes to sell the freshest fish possible. Isaac joined your party. Fantastic. Can do, let's get going. Alrighty. Now I wonder where the fishmonger oh, whoa. Arrow just like yeeted itself to the right. Let's see where it Ugh, excuse me. I believe the fish mongler was right near where everybody was selling the foods. Probably in the, like, the... Was it? Fresh food district. Or the shopping district. Oh, here, look. There she is. Oh, you must be the new angler. The fisherman Sage sent me a message you'll be coming. We brought you a big Castel Crucian. Good job catching that fish. Well, then let's see the Castel Crucian. Handed over the fish. For a fish that size, here's a curve payment. Thirty dollars, nice. You can sell fish at shops. Yes. A pleasure doing business with you. I hope you. I hope I'll be seeing you often. And that's how it's done. We catch them, we sell them. It's not always easy, but it's important. People wouldn't get their fish without us. There are many fish besides the Castel Crucian, plain sweetfish, Castel carp, elderwood trout. People like variety. Would you want to eat the same fish every single day? No way I would. Anyway, there's also a rare fish to be found such as the applefish. So delicious, like all the rare fish, the applefish is worth a lot of more dosh. Pardon me, I didn't mean to interrupt. Have you caught an applefish yet by any chance? Sorry, no. We're both beginners. Too bad. I had to turn away a customer who wanted one of those. I'm all out of applefish at the moment. It's bad business to disappoint a customer like that, but I had no choice. Hmm? Who was that? Had some had to be someone with a refined taste. Applefish is such a delicacy. It was quite an old man, not one of not one of my usuals. He was staring at the inn at the Castel Square. I hated to turn him away, since he came since he said he came to Castel to sample our local applefish. What a shame to make such a long trip for nothing. I wonder who he is. Hey, Axon, let's go find out. If we're lucky, we'll still catch him in the inn. Okay, cool. And the inn is there's an inn. I don't think I've ever seen the... Oh, wait. Is it over here? Yeah, yeah. Just goes to show to you how blind I am in some of these parts of the game. Hmm. Alrighty, then. Oh, looky here. He's from Port Puerto as well. Hmm. A pair of anglers, I see. What can old Seaberry do for you? Were you trying to buy some applefish in the market by any chance? Why yes, that was me. We heard you came from a long way away. I feel awful about it. I'm the one of the local anglers. It's my fault there's no applefish. No need to apologize, young man. That fish is quite a rarity. I last had applefish years ago. Grilled to perfection. Seasoned beautifully. Unforgettable. Neither of you should take any blame. That fish is so delicious it sells out instantly. It's my fault for, if anything, bad luck. Maybe next time if I ever make it back to Castel. Maybe there's something we can do. Where are you from, anyway? I've come all the way from Port Puerto. Really? I love Port. It's so sunny up there, the sea is so blue, and the Anglers Association. You ever heard of the Anglers Association, Axon? It's a group of up in Port Puerto that makes fishing very seriously. Takes fishing very seriously. They have an amazing fishing rods, and pictures of anglers, best catches, and, 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 and <laughs> it said there's a legendary angler in Port Puerto who knows everything about everything. I love to get, I love to go there someday. A legendary master. Someone's been tailing whoopers. Still, Port Pu Puerto is such a great fishing spot. But one thing Port Puerto doesn't have is an applefish. A prepared castel style, grilled and served with herb butter on top, it's heavenly. 
I hope I might have one last I might have it one last time. But short of a miracle, it looks like I'm out of luck. Poor guy, had to hard to see such an old man come all the way. The only let me down, Axon. We should help him. How about we try to catch an applefish? We're an anglers of Castel, we can allow someone to go we can allow someone to go home to Port Puerto disappear disappeared. <laughs> Disappointed. I bet grandpa knows where we could catch an applefish. Let's go see him. You know, now that I think about it. I know I've seen him somewhere before. Who could forget a face like that? Hmm. Wonder if he's any important. If he's someone very important. Hard to tell. Okay, I shouldn't be running around like crazy if we're gonna be fishing. I'm gonna need all the energy I can get. <sighs> you know, honestly, this is a nice change of pace. Normally, we're like dealing with um crafting and stuff like that, but this time we're taking it easy. We're fishing. Who doesn't like to fish every now and then? The people who don't like to fish. <laughs> okay, let's see what Grandpa has in store for us. Well, 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 this is my two students. Back from the catch. How'd it go? Hmm? What's wrong? Speak up, either of you. Did you fail to catch the carp? Your new student here caught the Castel Crucian, no problem, Grandpa. No, it's something else. We failed our town as anglers. You see, no man came all the way from Port Purito for applefish. But that fish market is out of them. And he's really old, and he came so far. He just wanted one last bite of applefish, grilled and buttery. I shouldn't take it so personally, but we anglers of Castel have to come to his aid. Mmm, indeed. He wants apple fish, you say? Difficult. No anglers hereabouts have seen any lately. But Grandpa, we have to. Now, now, Isaac, I wasn't finished. You know what I've told you before. Anglers must stay calm. No anglers have seen that fish, but there's another group that can help you. They're fanatical about fish. They pounce on any opportunity to get them, Isaac. Pounce? Cats, of course. They know their fish. They can surely help you. Find the right cat to find that apple fish. A cat? I'll go find one right away. Isaac left your party. That Isaac, he's a nice boy, but he always dives right, in, <laughs> right on in without listening to his grandpa. Well, I'll tell you the rest. For, I'll tell you the rest to you. Surely you want to help that find that applefish, right? Yeah. What an angler, angler you are! One of the cats in towns will know where to find, uh, where to fish. What? Where to know to fish for an applefish. If you do catch one, I'll take it as proof you're a born angler. Eh, what fun. I wonder which one of you will find a fish first. Go on, try your best to beat Isaac. Hmm. We got another competition for us to do. Who can be the best fisherman? His grandson or me? Some random guy who's just been taking so many jobs up his sleeve so he can become the master of everything. It's gonna be me. It's always me. Let's do this. <laughs> I won't let him win. I will defeat Isaac. Take his hat. <laughs> I'll have two fishy hats. Give it to Butterfly. Oh, look! Meow. Meow, meow, meow. Meow. What? Do you know... Do I know where the fish is? Maybe. Hold on. Do you even speak, cat? I'll just switch to your language. Inf infinitely easier to negotiate that way. So you want an apple fish, do you? But what inform but that information will cost you a king's ransom and tuna, my friend. What? Catch cut your tongue? Oh, I see you're just a novice. Then I'll give you the info for free. Consider it investment. Eh, I'll make you for all your worth later. Once you get the top angler. Once you are a top angler. We cats offer our fish in insights all over Riveria. Oh well, then, let's go. I'll point you. I'll point out where you can catch an applefish. They're like water. They like water near apple trees, of course. Trout joined your party. Oh, his name is Trout. You know that's interesting to think about. An applefish likes being near apples. Is that why? I know that's why they're probably called applefish. But I wonder if that's what they eat. Think about it. Think about it. Reminisce it for me, for a bit. If an applefish is found near apple trees. And all they eat is apples. That means they must naturally taste sweet. Now, if you bake an apple pie, it's naturally warm and sweet. So I wonder, do they taste like apple pies? There, just like I said, apple tree, apple fish. 
See it down there? All right, get to, get to catching it. Don't forget our old friend trout when you're a master angler. There's a technique for reeling in trickier fish, but it's but if fish gets away, just talk to me, okay? Okay, so this is where it kind of gets a little bit more, uh, not complicated, but yeah, just a slightly bit more complicated. You now have a line gauge, we'll rate, and basically the whole point of it is that uh, it's going to tell you like, hey, you need to move in certain angle, like certain ways to get the fish go going. Now, if the, if the line gets like too far to the right, it's going to snap. So you got to be very careful when you're fishing. Now it's going to be a real mini game. Here we go. As you can see, the line is moving pretty much. Damn it. I was doing so good too. Yes. Thank you. This can be a little bit tricky, so keep in mind, keep an eye out when you're doing this. As soon as you see the arrows, you, you, uh, you hoist it to whatever direction it wants you to. Because if you don't, you're going to lose the fish. What in the world? Uh, am I doing something wrong here? I'm, I'm pushing it to where he wants me to. Maybe because I'm, I'm like moving it, but I, I don't remember that being an issue. Alright, I'm not going to do anything this time. What? Uh... Am I doing something wrong here? Okay, we're going to turn this way. <laughs> Shouldn't be this hard. Oops. Good, he's still there. Oh, you're supposed to let go of the... Oh, I'm an idiot. Oh, okay, yeah, you're supposed to let go of it every now and then so you can get the thing going. Oh. And then you're supposed to turn it there like that. See, and then you're good to go. Also, the fish will heal slightly, so be careful. But it's Oz. You're mine, Applefish. Oh. Actually looked like an apple. <laughs> I wasn't... I, I, I don't know what I was expecting. I'm quite creeped out of it, actually. Nicely done, my friend. It looks scrumptious. I love to sink my teeth in it, but I suppose you need it for a reason. Farewell, until we meet again. Thanks, Trout. I wonder if I can catch another one. Give me another apple fish. So I can eat one, too. That's right. I'm gonna eat this fish. No one else is gonna take it but me. Oh, yes. Here we go. Here's my apple fish. I can't wait to taste it. Don't mess up. <laughs> Here we go. We're gonna catch an apple fish. Well, <laughs> close enough, I guess. I guess the apple fish is the one-time thing. I like. It, I know there's some other fishes that we're gonna see eventually that are like crazy huge. I think I said this story already, but if not, I'll say it again, just so we can pass the time. And because I, I sometimes I like talk, telling old stories. That one time when I was playing this game, um, I was fishing, and we were in this cave, and then I caught this huge fish. I was so proud of this fish because it was I think it was the first time I caught a huge fish, and then monsters came and destroyed the fish. That's the end of my story. <laughs> but man, was I annoyed when that happened. Mm-hmm. Very annoyed. Seaberry. Do my eyes deceive me? Is that an apple fish? You went out and caught a nice one. You've made this old man very happy, Angler. Hand it over to the Applefish. You deserve a handsome reward. 500 dosh. Ooh. Did I hear a friend you, you were... Uh, did I hear your friend say your ac... Excuse me, your accent? 
who I won't forget that name anytime soon. Come see me in Port Puerto once you're a bit further along as an angler, alright? My name is Seabury. You can find me at... Mister! Mister! I got your applefish! What? What are you doing here, Axton? Ah, yeah, what a surprise. Applefish must be biting today. No way, Axton. You caught one too? Already? Before me? How? <laughs> well, mister, I guess you can tell everyone in Port Puerto that Castell didn't let you down. Ooh, we two have a fish in one day. I can't wait to tell the Anglers Association. They'll be glad to hear the Fisherman Sage is taking two bright students up the ranks. What? Do you know my grandpa? He's your grandpa? Well, glad to meet you. Your grandfather's an old fishing buddy. From way back to... He and I founded Monthly Catch. Ever heard of it? Have I? I've read every issue on the, that magazine. Wait, I thought I knew your face. You're from the Anglers Association. Eh, sorry. Thought you knew. I'm Seabury, the head of the Anglers Association. Look me up anytime you're in Port Puerto, Isaac. Glad to see you around. Oh my gosh, seriously? It would be my honor. Thank you, sister. That was not slick to tell Grandpa. Isaac joined your party. Two applefish. I wonder if they're that good. Personally, I don't really eat fish. Um, I like to, like, when, if I do eat it, I usually stick to shrimp. And if I do eat it, uh, it's either, like, fried, fried food. I can't have it any other way. Otherwise, like, I don't know. I guess the, the fish doesn't really sit well with me. I'm kind of weird when it comes to food. I like sushi. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Like, how do you not like fish, but you like sushi? I'm very particular with my sushi. It has to be cooked. I don't eat, I don't do raw fish. I don't care how much people say it tastes good. I'm not doing it. <laughs> I see. It makes sense now. That man at the end was my old friend Seabury. That means every angler in Port Puerto will soon be here about you too. Hmm, that's a high time to elevate your ranks, my students. Let's take a look at what you've done. Fishing for a new master. And that's when I found the title for this video. <laughs> Nice! You've done so much already. Now catch every opportunity to grow into better anglers. Remember to come see me now and then we can review all your latest achievements. And Shirley Seabury told you to visit Port Puerto once you further along your fishing. You two are so fortunate. What great fishing trips are ahead of you all over the world. And you'll catch fish in the strangest places. Lava flows and cloud banks, you, you can, if you can believe it. Maybe you'll catch rare fish. I might even put in a monthly catch for everyone to read about. In the magazine? Seriously? Of course, wouldn't, why wouldn't I? You know, Seabury put me on the cover of monthly catch, but only because we had to stick someone on the cover and he's a salty sea dog. <laughs> Hopefully one of us will make the cover too. Good luck catching fish, fellow angler. The fledgling angler completed. Nice. 50 XP, nice. Do you want to save? Of course I want to save. You've been doing so good recently that I want to save everything. <sighs> Feels, hey look, it's trout. Feels so good to have that done. Now, let's see how many lives are left. We've tackled two. So if I remember correctly, there should be three lives remaining. After that, we're done. We can now come, we can, after that, <laughs> after that, no, after that, I don't know, after that. <laughs> When we're done with all this, we can finally start doing Butterfly's quest and start continuing with the story. That would be something interesting to do. Let's see what we got left. Welcome to the guild office. Let's see, we got... No? <gasps> we only got two lives remaining! Two lives! And we, like, have it all done. That's great! But I think we'll save that for the next episode. So, I just received word that my whoosh thing is now fixed. <laughs> so we're gonna end this episode properly. So thank you all for thank you all for watching. I hope you had a wonderful time exploring fantasy life with me. And next episode we're gonna finish our last two lives, and then we're gonna see where things go from there. Y'all take care and have a great one. Bye bye. You know, I just noticed something. I don't I don't mind having the whole place like during like. What is it, evening? But I like it when it's fresh in daytime. So why don't we take a brief moment to sleep?
time now. Any time now. We load and we open the door. And the first thing we say is, Good morning! Hey everyone, Axe and Ronder here. Welcome back to another episode of Fantasy Life. Where last left off, we did an hour long special and we did two lives for the price of one episode. And we did the tailoring life and the fishing life, which was fun adventures for us. Because we did so many things. We caught a fish, we made a blouse, we did so many things. <laughs> and in this episode, we're on our way to do the last two lives. Well, not this episode, but we're gonna get started with one of them. And I think we'll start off with cooking. No, cooking. We got a nice big pot all over our head. You changed your life to cook. Congratulations. Congratulations, Axton. You know how this works. Go to the master, do the thing, and come back later for another life. You know how to do this. Best of luck. Bye. <laughs> uh, same thing, different day, huh? So let's get our way on to, let's uh, make our way to the next life, which is the cooking one. Now I don't remember this one all too well, but I know we have to focus on, you guessed it, cooking. I actually like to cook. It's actually really fun, very relaxing. Though my cooking skills are not the best. Uh, I like to do simple recipes, you know, water in a cup. <laughs> Flippity flip, flippity flip, flippity. What? I'm busy. Out of my kitchen. Flippity flip, flippity. I said out of my kitchen. Flippity. What? Come on. Come on then. What's so important that Alfredo has to put down his pan? What do you think you are waltzing into my kitchen looking like that? What are you signing up for kitchen duty? Er, you are? You can skip the tutorial. <laughs> uh, no, we'll continue with it. Hm. So you think you can stand the heat? Here's a pan for starters. Oh, okay, right, a pretend frying pan. Pretend? Don't expect me to hold your hand. I've got bigger fish to fry. Sizzle, show this kid how to make you know what you know. Sizzle doesn't know that dish. What's what's in a you-know-what? Sizzle, you fluff boy, I mean the dish that blew up in your last assignment. Up, up, I can't read tonight. Sizzle, you fluff ball. I mean that dish that blew up in our last assistant's face. Oh, yes, that one. Sizzle remembers now. Sizzle is, is still licking the mess off his fur. Get to it. Get to it then. And you, you get there. Report back to me if you succeed. <laughs> this one, this one just might work out. What? I wasn't talking about you. I mean my dish here. The one you interrupted. Mm -hmm. Sure. The fledgling cook. Welcome to Alfredo's Bistro. Nice. All right, Sizzle. What do we got to cook? Sizzle is glad to meet you. Sizzle would like to see you be the best cook you can be. Sizzle is our sous chef here. That's a fancy way of saying I'm the number two chef. Don't judge Alfredo too harshly. He's just overworked. He can't find a good assistant. But you, I bet you'll be perfect. Yes, please bear with us. Sizzle will show you everything. You'll need to make carrot soup for Alfredo if you want to be assistant. Here's the recipe. Ooh, carrot soup. I wonder what that tastes like. Our last assignment assistant made a mess of it. Well, to be tell the truth, he did the previous so what? Well, to tell the truth, so did the previous 50. Oh my. Sizzle is sure you'll make a nice soup though. Now, how to begin? You're always free to use the counter, but for now, we need to fetch carrots for the soup. Alfredo insists on the freshest ingredients of uh, freshest vegetables, right from our farm. Fresh as fresh gets. No one grows fresher vegetables than gills down the South Castell. Now go there for your carrots. This is a hope that was clear enough. Good luck making carrot soup for Alfredo. I have carrots. I mean, I can... Uh, never mind. Forget it. <laughs> we need special carrots. Let's go see if gills has any special carrots for us. Why did it want me to go all the way down here? It would have been more easier for me. Wait, am I thinking of the right person? I should be thinking of the right person. So the one that's near the the, the sheep farm. How come you didn't tell me to go the other way? It's a lot more easier instead of me going like the long way. It's like a giant L at this point. Yeah, here it is. I could have gone the other way. Uh, anyway, sorry, Gil. <laughs> Took the carrot by accident. What well, brings you to my farm then? Need some carrots for your soup? Well, I'll be. You're trying to impress Alfredo, ain't you? 
That Alfredo is picky as they come. I want this carrot straight from my patch. Shame to eat him, really. These veggies are my pride and joy. But good luck with that soup. I see you took some. Might as well take these too. Just pull them out. I didn't mean to take them. I apologize. <laughs> Thank you for the carrots, though. Alrighty, then. Let's go back to Alfredo and make sure to tell him that we got the best carrots available so we can cook his fancy uh, carrot soup. You know, I, 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 I know what carrots taste like, but I'm curious to see, what does carrot soup taste like? Like, is it just warm carrots? I, I don't know. I, I, I've, I never tried it. Actually, I don't think I've had the opportunity to try it. Like, I've never seen it sold anywhere. And I'm kind of too lazy to make it myself. <laughs> Alfredo, I got the stuff. This is a hopes that Gills wasn't too grumpy. He's a lot like Alfredo. It's all about the work. But looks like he gave you some carrots. Good luck, man. Oh, good man. At least for the tail. What? The tail is type. Now Sizzle will show you the basics of cooking so you can make that carrot soup. Cooking learned. Yay. Egg and veggie cuisine learned. Yay. Yes. Same thing as we have always done. If you know the crafting table, you know how to do it. Stand behind the counter and face it to start our s on the soup, alright? Oh, Sizzle almost forgot to tell you. Be sure to equip your frying pan first, okay? Alright, let's equip our brand new frying pan, which is right on tools. The pretend fire pan. Now, how does this work? Better not melt on me. Better not melt on me. Make some carrot soup. Out of my way, Alfredo. Time for a real chef to be mastered. I have 18 carrots, so I have several other ways to mess up. First, we chop the vegetables. And then, we fry the vegetables, because why not? After we sauteed the vegetables at a nice crispy 400 degrees, we stir the soup. Yes, yeah, stir the soup. After that, we chop whatever garments we have left and wham, we made the carrot soup. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, fantastic. Look at me jump for joy because we did such a badass job making carrot soup. Eat your heart out, Alfredo. <laughs> you finished the carrot soup, I bet it's excellent. I'll be the judge of that, give it to me. Hand it over carrot soup. Delicious. Well, what a surprise. It looks delicious and it smells wonderful, but it's the taste that counts most. Now I'll take a sip. Hmm. I declare it bread worthy. Bread worthy, Alfredo. Truly and honestly, what a relief when Alfredo says bread worthy, Axton. He's speaking from his heart. He loves your soup. I can hardly believe it. Might we have our new assistant then on the second test? Pardon me. What is this? Tantalizing sm oh, tantali tantalizing smell. A carrot soup, unless I'm mistaken. Customers are not allowed in Alfredo's kitchen. Please take a seat, we'll serve the soup soon. I must be allowed to sip now, my nose tells me it's a soup that has no equal. Leave now, Sizzle won't say it again. The mere scent is inspiring, I must cook at once. What dish might be worthy of such a soup? May I use the kitchen for a moment? No, just what do you think you were doing? Sizzle, can't you see he's a cook? He's got a torque on his head. Let's see what he can do. Now a pinch of this and a dash of that. Sizzle was amazed. You just walk around with all these ingredients in your pockets? Yes, of course. What cook doesn't? Now a little more spice for a special sauce. Incredible special sauce for hamburger. And voila, a saucy flip and the patty is to finish it off. You see, quite simple, really. Simple? I couldn't do that. What do you call such a pampered burger? What else? A royal hamburger. Now you... T now... Now, can you do me a great honor of tasting it? There is no need. I bow to your patty, sir. But Alfredo, you haven't even tasted it. This technique is, was excellent. But does it deserve my highest compliment? I guess. Yes, breadworthy. Breadworthy? Oh, I see. I've forgotten the bun. Well, I should be. it should have one in my pockets. Hold the bun, stranger. Alfredo always says breadworthy, breadworthy when he loves a dish. I see, I see. The local kitchen lingo. Fascinating. I'll use that in my own culinary parlance. Uh, yes, you do that, stranger. Now, may Sizzle ask you something? Since I noticed a fancy decoration on your kitchen apron, what is that? Good eye, Sizzle. That is my royal emblem. No, it can't be. Indeed it is. I am the new cook of the ca at the castle. My name is Alan. 
Aha, royal hamburger. Now I understand. Only a maestro of meat could make such a thing. Please, I don't measure up to your excellence, chef. But I'm culinary wanderer. Well, then what brings you to my bistro? Buzz. Lots of buzz. What? Bees? That's not my bistro? Please tell Sizzle where you saw them. Alfredo can't have bees scaring off customers. No, Sizzle. Good buzz. Everyone at the castle can't stop talking about this bistro. What? The rows talk about Alfredo's? No, no, no. That can't be. We never once set foot in the castle. That may be, but they come here in disguise. The disguise He's just pulling our legs, Sizzle. Next to say our new friend over here is the king himself. Certainly not, but I swear to you, Alfredo. You have big fans at the castle. Seriously? I never fib about food. In fact, the good buzz about the bistro has reached his ears. <laughs> Whose ears? Who is who is his? I mean he. Are you are you gonna tell me or make me guess? I'm gonna all wobbly on knees. Who is it? Alfredo, please calm yourself. If you only let me get a word and I'll tell you. Well then who? The king himself, of course. Oh, oh. Huh? How did I get this recipe? Uh, okay. You killed him! Alfredo, are you alright? Don't worry, Alfredo does this. He faints when he gets too excited, or when he has a great idea. Sometimes both. What a shame, I've come to learn one of his specialties. So can I make it for the king? I'll come back when he's back on his feet. Please sir, stay. But I need one of Alfredo's recipes. I think Alfredo had something in mind. What was he trying to say before he passed out? Om... Um, hmm, maybe... Oh my gosh? Wait, no, omelette. I bet he was trying to say omelette. Of course, that's one of the most important, impressive dishes. The finest fluffy omelette. I'm sure Accent here knows it. Don't you? Check your recipes. You do? Then show me, please. You must. Alfredo would thank you for saving the day. You've got to. Sizzle will even help you track down omelette ingredients. We need to find chicken eggs, cow's milk, and one more thing. What was it again? Oh yes, a vine ripened tomatoes. Let's find the chicken eggs, cow's milk first. Yes, we need to speak to a cow and a chicken and help our find freshest ingredient quest. You can find them on your map. But let's tackle the chicken first. Good luck, Sizzle speaks. Buck, buck. Let's go. Sizzle has joined your party. Sizzle is high on crack right now. <laughs> All right, let's go find the rest of these ingredients. Poor Alfredo, he passed out because he found out the king likes to eat his food. It must be good enough that the king is like, mmm. Chicken nuggets with chocolate milk. Delicious. And a cosmic brownie to sort. Mmm. Fantastic. <laughs> uh, don't go knocking cosmic brownies. They're actually really good. Mr. Chicken. Egbert. Who's that, Sizzle? Uh, Buckety Bock. Axe and Cluck. Buckety Bock, 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 Bock. Your chickenese is awful, Sizzle. Um, could you repeat that? Uh, buckety cluckly bok bok. Bok bok bok. <laughs> what? My crest looks like crude? Oh no, that that's not what I meant. Uh, buckety bok bok. Buckety bok 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 bok. No, you you didn't. Should I be plucked? Uh, buckety bok bok. Sisters, brothers, flock to me. Oh crap. Get out of our coop. Wait, Sizzle didn't mean it. Ow, ow. And don't come back, Sizzle. The chicken left something behind. Obtain chicken eggs. Sizzle made a mess of that and lost a bit of his tail back there. All right, then we need cow's milk next. So we have to find a cow. Too bad my moo moo is worse than my bok bok. This could get ugly, but let's get going. Oh, Sizzle. Poor, poor Sizzle. Let's see how this goes from here. Oh dear. Now, where's the. Oh, that's right. The cows are all the way on the other side of the. of Castell. Luckily, we don't need our stamina to be. Well, we do need stamina, but not as crazy as. Well, when we're crafting, at least. You don't need it. So, it's good we can use some. Let's see. Hello, Mr. Cow. Mo, 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 mo. Hi, need some milk? What? That was easier than Sizzle thought. That was easier than I thought. Well then, only one more ingredient. Tomatoes. Let's go. F let's try the vegetable stall near the bistro. First, let me get some milk myself. Some delicious milk. I love milk. I like drinking chocolate milk. It's like one of my favorite things to drink every now and then. I haven't had like... I, I, I like to drink strawberry milk, but chocolate milk is usually my go-to. I'm a big chocolate fan. 
Random facts was X and Ronder. <laughs> Sometimes I like to wear socks. All the time. <laughs> okay, so let's make our way to the. Oh goodness gracious! Keep yawning. Ugh. There you are. Vegetables for sale, fruit for sale, veggies for... Oh, hey, you two looking for some produce? Sizzle and his friends are desperate to get some vine-ripened tomatoes. Have any? Nope, sorry. I don't stock tomatoes. They're too hard to get, and they have come all the way from Port Puerto. Let's platter all on the way unless each one is wrapped. Even baby, you could say. It's ridiculous. I can only afford to buy in bulk crates and berries, so no tomatoes here. But you want to snack on a tomato, huh? Sorry, you have to go to Port Puerto. We're not going to eat them. Sizzle and his friend need tomatoes for a restaurant. Ah, I should have known from the look of you. So Alfredo's Bistro needs tomatoes. Oh, I've got it. What? You got tomatoes? <sighs> no, I remember who might have some. I saw someone from Port Puerto earlier. His pockets were stuffed with something. He said they were tomatoes. He said the people from Port Puerto love tomatoes so much they travel everywhere. With them. That's true. They do. They really do. They crave tomatoes that much. Gross, if you ask me. Wouldn't those tomatoes go splat, s sloppy pockets? Ugh. But he's our last chance. Where'd you see him? He wandered off toward our, your bistro. Actually, can't miss him. Big guy, soup pot on his head. Thank you. You're a lifesaver. A soup pot. So, a guy that looks exactly like me? I don't remember seeing any of it. Oh, hey. What bad luck. So close and yet so far. I can smell the spices in the air. I bet you two will know more. Cooks, yes. Yes, we are. What an incredible nose you have. You can smell that about us. Or was it the, or was it my cook's apron? Yes, of course, your apron. But also the look on your eye. You seek tomatoes, yes. Ye oh, yes, people will come to Pedro knowing somewhere I carry tomatoes. Somehow. Don't try to hide it. I crave tomatoes. You crave tomatoes. There is no shame craving tomatoes. I love tomatoes. Oh, how direct you are. You get to the point faster than a cow. A cow, I hope that's a compliment. Anyway, if you want tomatoes, I expect something in return. Of course, what would you like from us? Information. I'm here in search for a restaurant, some hole in the wall. I came all the way from Port Puerto to eat at this place, but I had some bad luck. Its doors are open, but it's closed for business, yet I can smell traces of tastiness in the air. How awful for you. What sort of terrible restaurant would tease you like that? It's not far. Where? There's only an art. Oh no, you mean our restaurant. Alfredo's Bistro. Well, buy all the tomatoes in Port Puerto. You two work at a restaurant? No wonder it's closed. You are on Tomato Quest, are you? Yes, exactly. Sizzle is sorry to keep you waiting for food. And Pedro is sorry that he called your restaurant a hole in the wall. Sizzle takes no offense. It is our fault that your stomach is trembling. We hope to feed you soon. Yes, yes, that'd be nice. I've come such a long way. But if you're Sizzle, then, then who's Alfredo? Certainly not your friend here. Oh, you must be Alfredo's assistant, yes. Your master has trained you well if you're searching for a high and low for tomatoes. Here, I'm glad to share with my fellow cooks. Take some vine rabbit tomatoes. Vine rabbit tomatoes. I have hear, I have heard your bistro is famous for an omelette that uses pork puerto tomatoes. What was it called? Fancy floppy omelette? No, it was finest fluffy omelette. I beg you, make me an omelette right away. I'll take your seat in the restaurant. Excuse me. Ah, we have all the ingredients. Let's go into the bistro and make the finest fluffy omelette. Sizzle will run inside. Come on in when you're ready, friend. This is left your party. When I talk a lot, especially when I play this game, I have a tendency of burping. Oof. All right, let's start cook. Are we just gonna leave them here? Yep, we're just gonna leave them here. All right, let's cook some omelets. Soup, slushy. Here we go. Linus fluffy omelet. Let's make this bad boy. Stir the soup. Stir the soup. Fry the veggies. Cut the potatoes. Fry everything. We have it. Finest fluffy omelette completed. We're gonna eat the shist out of this. Sizzle likes the look of your omelette, but now serve it to our special customers. Hand it over to find this fluffy omelette. 
at last to find his fluffy omelet. Fluffy, yes, fine, we will see. But just smell those Port Puerto tomatoes. Let's dig in, yes. Ah, I declared the finest and fluffiest omelet I have ever eaten. Hurrah! Mmm, What bold flavor. The eggs are clearly from a chicken who is easily insulted. The milk from a generous cow. Crisp edges, not yet over, yet not overcooked. Nicely handled in a frying pan. Finally, the sauce tangy, not too sweet, simmered to perfection. Top ingredients, excellent recipe, and you, my young cook, show great promise. I agree, but what an evaluation. You could taste all of that in one bite. Oh my, then you must be. I am merely someone who's glad to taste your work. I will savor this memory. It ranks among my top 10 tastes ever. You alone have made it worth my while to come all the way to Alfredo's Bistro. You deserve a reward, yes? 500 dosh, nice. What a talent you have, Axon. Oh, wow. I look forward to seeing you grow as a cook. In Port Puerto, our specialty is seafood. How about you try some of our recipes? Oh, nice, seafood cuisine. If you ever visit Port Puerto, you must do me the honor of visiting my kitchen. With that, I must be off. We will meet again, yes? Good luck, you two. Goodbye, you two. How extraordinary. Do you realize who that was? That was Pedro, Port Puerto's greatest chef. The owner of, uh, Cacien, Canis, what? Casina Rica? The very same. He's said to have a highly developed sense of taste. I wish I realized it sooner, or of that, or that I hadn't clammed up when I did. But you, my new friend, you were incredible. In the kitchen, what an omelet! The sound of you cooking back there was like music to my ears. You are new to this, are you not? Such raw talent inspires me to greater heights. I'm ashamed to be the best chef the castle has ever seen. Now, I should thank you. How about some recipes? I am no Pedro, but I do know a thing or two about cooking meat. Nice. Meat cuisine. I suppose we're rivals since cooking can get competitive, but I look forward to your work. I better report back to the castle. I might come back to share more of my recipes. Perhaps sometimes when Alfredo's back. Good luck to you. What a time for you to shine while Pedro visits, and the castle takes such interest. Sizzle thinks you're a rising star. Sizzle thinks you deserve a nice break after all. Hold on there! Did I pass out again? You could have at least gotten me a pillow, Sizzle. Alfredo is awake, so much has happened. Alfredo should hear all the news. Alfredo? Well, what happened? Must have been good or else I wouldn't have passed out. Sizzle can't believe our good luck. A cook from the, cast from the castle came to taste the recipes. Oh, that's right. The, the king, he has heard of me. I couldn't believe it. I felt like I was gonna get dizzy and then, oof, I collapsed like a Sophie. But we wouldn't hop to, but we better hop to. You could cook him my famous omelet. Alfredo accidentally already cooked one. But how? We don't have the vine ripe potatoes. Tomatoes. I have to order them from my special supplier and he need, and we'll need some fresh eggs and milk too. We spoke to the usual cow and chicken and we won't believe how we got tomatoes. Please tell me. That chef from Port Puerto was here. P from P P P Port Puerto? It was Pedro from C C C Cociana Rica? Best of all, Axon here cooked the omelet to our special guest and Pedro loved it. How did you do it? We barely even explained the basics to you. And then I passed out. You've earned my respect, friend. So I open my kitchen and my recipes to you. Oh, nice. Now we're cooking. Now with that, we started a new life as a cook. We are no longer novice. We are fledgling. And we have focus and dexterity. And we learn how to make fledgling level crafts. I am not easily impressed, but you are a cook in my book. I will gladly take you on as my assistant. With your help, I can make the bistro a three star, no, a five star restaurant. Now keep up your cooking and report back to me with any news of your achievements. I will always have time for you, even if I'm cooking or passed out. So welcome again, friend. That's great. The fledgling cook is completed. Nice. 50 XP. Would you like to save? Of course I do. Ah, that was fantastic. As much as I love to hear the little song, we have to get going. Because it is the end of the episode, and I would like to get close to the life-changing office. With the, yeah, so we can choose the final life. We managed to get all of them, and now we just need one more to go. Just one more life. And then we are completely... Well, we started all of them. 
basically. That's right, we barely started all of We're almost 20 episodes in, and we barely started all the lives. Fantastic, right? This is gonna be a long playthrough. I can already see it. Ugh. <laughs> oh well. We'll save that for the next episode. I had a brain fart there for a moment. I apologize. Alright, guys. In the next episode, we're gonna tackle the final life, which is the alchemy life. The alchemy life. Now, I don't really know what to expect from it, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be grand, just like all the other lives. Also, after that, after that life, this is the plan so far. After we get through that life, and I know it's gonna take the entire episode, we're gonna start focusing on the story because it's, I think it's about time we started focusing on that. We'll do a little bit of crafting so we can get ourselves gear that is pretty good for us to go traveling around, and then finally probably get a chance to go to a new region, maybe this Port Poito we keep t hearing about. Sorry if I keep butchering the name. <laughs> so we'll probably do that in the next couple of episodes or so. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you had a wonderful time, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Y'all have a great day. Stay safe. Bye-bye.